Starting off 2024 in style, welcome to a very special edition of Six Sports with Nicole Sheeran. I'm Ben Peck. You know, it didn't take a lot of anticipation to build up the hype for this Baylor basketball game. That's kind of the case when you're opening up a home venue for the first time in 35 years, Nicole. That's right, Ben. It was absolutely rocking here tonight at the new Foster Pavilion, and Baylor men's basketball started it off with an absolute bang, taking down Cornell in a hostile environment, and we talked about it earlier tonight. This is a home court advantage that the Bears are about to take advantage of, and all I have to say is it was loud in here. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it, you know, it was a regular season non-conference game, but it felt like like there was a Big 12 title on the line with the way the fans were. The Baylor Bears welcoming in the Cornell Big Red for the debut at the Foster Pavilion. The Pavilion officially open for business. Scott Drew and Nikki Collin helping to cut the ribbon before the game. A huge attendance for this, but the Bears looking to take care of business against the Big Red. Last time they played an Ivy League opponent, it was Yale. We won't talk about that one. First possession, though, Jacoby Walter no good. It's Yves Misi there for the rebound, and he scores the first points ever at the Foster Pavilion. Misi had six of the first eight for Baylor. Later in the first half, Miro Little decides he wants to try it out from deep. Connects to make it a four-point game. And then next time down the court after a steal, how about some good ball movement from the Bears going side to side. Little lines it up. Yes, sir. Baylor up a touchdown, 21-14. Midway through the first, Bears up double digits. Ray J. Dennis on the drive, lobs it to Misi, throws it down. Finally, time winding down in the first half. Jaden Nunn kicks it to Walter. He knocks down the three. He led the team in scoring. Baylor up 58-42 at the half. They cruise to the win, 98-79. Definitely one of the loudest that uh, uh, people face in the nation. So, uh, but, but with that, it's just uh, uh, the, the details and the things that are unique to the Baylor family I think are really cool. There's, there's a couple arenas where when you get done, your head feels like you were at a concert, and now ours is one of them, which is awesome. It feels like more compact. It feels like... Like the fans is right on top of you on the floor. And uh, honestly, we're just blessed to, like he said, be the team that gets to come in here and the guys that came before us and paved the way to give us this blessing to play. And Nicole, a lot of fans in the stands, of course, tonight packing the pavilion. But I think as much as they were excited to watch this basketball team, they were just excited to be here for this night. Baylor broke out a lot of bells and whistles. We had, you know, the bear Bruiser mascot delivering <laughs> the game ball from the top of the ceiling. We had a chihuahua making dunks <laughs> and bouncing on basketballs. But what stood out to you about this environment? Well, Ben, when I was shooting on this on the baseline tonight, I looked around and I just said, wow, it's loud in here. That is not a loud noise that I have heard at the Farrell Center since my time in Waco, which is about a year and a half. So not that long, but the noise. Ray J. Dennis, Jacoby Walter, they both said it. They're, the one thing that stood out to them about this arena is how it really is like a pit. The fans are on top of the court, and I think that is a huge advantage for this Baylor team. And like we've talked about all night, this home court advantage is about to be real this season. Yeah, I think with that sound, you get a lot of bang for your buck, as you mentioned, with how many people you do have in the stands. And Baylor's going to have a good test. Their next home game is against BYU, BYU, a very good team in the Big 12. They've got their Big 12 opener coming up this weekend on the road at Oklahoma State. Well, that'll do it here from the Foster Pavilion. For Nicole Sheeran, I'm Ben Peck. That'll do it for sports.